Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. I was stalking him for a while. I'm real good at that. Watching people from where they can't see me, you know? Only one thing I learned about that asshole. He keeps a bunch of Brahmins. Most of them he roasts whenever he feels like it. But there's one. Must be his pet or some shit. Doesn't let anybody near that Brahmin. Somebody puts a bullet in her, I bet that piss him off good. Might make him careless, too. Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. Oh, yeah. A lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my caps from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money, but it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean... Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Still working on that last bounty?
Still working on that last bounty? You killed another one. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. Can you bring them down alone? Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. Perimeter's been quiet since you left. The fiends are running scared. I doubt they'll give us any more trouble. Not for a long while. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Later. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. 
like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm?